We're waiting for this fucking update. Brownies. We could chill and talk while we obviously wait for this fucking Xbox update to finish. Great question to start. Do I think Light was justified in everything he did? Or was he a villain? Good question. Well, it all comes down to your morals. The great thing about Death Note is that Death Note was a battle of mor morality and all that stuff. But, his perspective. When I say that, his initial intention was pretty reasonable. He was basically trying to eliminate the world of criminals. Condoning murder is morally wrong. Right? In his ideal world, his vision of an ideal world was a world ridden of criminals. But see, the problem started once people were coming after him because he was a mass murderer, right? By, by definition, he was a mass murderer. So, what fucks up for him is that he then strayed, not really strayed from fulfilling his objective, but at the same time, he then became a villain because why because then he started killing people that technically were not criminals he started killing those that were against him and that is the the fine line between was he doing something right or was he doing something wrong now i'm not saying like oh go ahead and kill all these criminals so that way we're, we rid the world of you know criminals and all that shit lion hall 4 thank you for the five appreciate it. welcome to the uchi Dang. Like, let's say Light stuck with his plan. He killed, he just stuck with criminals. He did not kill anyone on the task force. He didn't kill any of the FBI agents. He didn't kill L. He didn't kill any of those people. That would basically change the entire landscape of the show. And because the idea I feel like behind Death Note was to show what could possibly happen even to someone that lived a perfect life and what could happen to someone that is a mortal being that is given a power or that's literally a power is just that just falls into their lap literally and what could what could happen and what could go wrong he got too ahead of himself he got too cocky he got very arrogant and overly confident and he literally felt like he was a god like he could judge you he could literally be like well that's not how i view things and because of this power that i have in my possession i can literally control how the flow of your life works and that's true he did ryuk was not helping no and it, it wasn't his job to help that's the thing. It really all depends on your views for sure. But at the end of the day, if he kept his criminal plan, I don't know, very different. And he used the fuck out of Misa. Misa was head over heels for this guy. And he took advantage of that and he literally used her. He didn't actually love her. He didn't really care about her. He cared about having her as a pawn as one of his chess pieces pretty much because he didn't want to give up half his life. So she did it for him twice. That shit was crazy. I believe, to answer your question, Crimson, I think part of Light was justified. The beginning. But then once he started killing people that were not criminals, that he went against his own plan, that's when his justification kind of went out the window. Because then it was, then it just became a show about, well, if you try to catch me, I'm gonna fucking kill you. You know what I'm saying? That's how I see it, Death Note. Death Note was the first show where I thought, where, where I saw the protagonist become the antagonist. I watched Death Note at least like five, six times. When he truly became Kira the God that judges all, that's when he went wrong. Light wanting to clean the world, even though killing is a terrible thing. If you think about it, it's just like, okay, a world with no criminals obviously means you're gonna live a peaceful and stress-free, well, then remove all your stresses, but it also kind of comes down to like, well, what do you define as crime? People that, I would feel like people that rape others, harm, like really harm someone else, who kill other people, who, who you know, who rob, who like steal or whatever. I mean, stealing is like the lowest of the low, I feel like. It depends on what you're stealing, I think. But take what I said, those things are what makes a criminal a criminal. But if a policeman is doing his job trying to track down a mass murderer, that does not make them a criminal. Light saw his enemies as criminals, and that's where he went wrong. As smart as he was, as calculated as he was, as conniving as he was, nah, he went wrong with that. Do you think he would or could have become a serial killer if he never got the notebook? Absolutely not. Light Yagami was a straight shot student. That's a good question, though. I can see why you ask that, though. Because you would think, you have to question at what point does a man or a person that lives a very straight life where 
they have the best grades all throughout their fucking life. They're basically set up with their job right after school. He gets placed into the highest college or whatever the hell it was. And he he and he could he could get any girl he wants, right? You would think at some point a guy like Light, who literally admitted how bored he was, like it's the same thing to him every day. Like he's just good at everything. And he needs a thrill. That's a very interesting question because a part of me feels like he would kind of just see out his life, but because he knows how the system works, that's what makes me believe he wouldn't do anything that crazy. It would have to take something like extraterrestrial or like out of this world for him to do something like that. You know what I'm saying? That's what would like be the tip of the iceberg that would be the falling point because at that rate if, if it's something out of this world that's literally you like never seen before and it changes the whole game that's when imagine the death note never fell he goes throughout high school finishes high school does his shit gets whatever girlfriend he wants if he wants one or whatever and he still goes on throughout life being bored and he's sick of how people get away with things and the justice system is corrupt, the criminals, this and that. And then something else aside from the Death Note takes place. I feel like even if it was like, it doesn't even have to necessarily be the Death Note per se, as long as something of a higher power was bestowed upon him to change the things that he saw was wrong, that's when I feel like he would really fucking, you know, he was like always fated to be Kira in a sense. Oh, how did you feel about Nier? I liked L better. I liked L better. It was pretty crazy how he, how L died, right? Nier is cool, but I liked L better. A lot of people thought it should have ended when L died. I don't know, man, because I feel like the story of the Death Note literally wouldn't have felt complete because that's not really like a solid ending. Like the ending of Death, like the whole point of Death Note was basically to show you what would happen when someone lets the power consume them and it gets to their head and they think that they're a god and they're really not. I feel like Light's death at the end was almost necessary to really come full circle, you know what I'm saying? Because he, he it was a game of cat and mouse and eventually he was gonna get caught. He was treading on thin ice. L basically fucking figured it out right as he was about to die. Ryuk was essentially, if you think about it, Ryuk was essentially, even though Ryuk was kind of like in the mill, like he, he really only helped Light because Light promised him apples and shit. Ryuk was just there to see the show. But at the same time, because Light amused him by giving him all this entertaining shit to happen because again ryuk was bored up there in the shinigami realm as well just like how light was bored in, in the human world ryuk was almost if you think about it kind of like light's coach or his trainer without actually having the role of a trainer or a coach he was there to essentially throw in the towel when he knew that it was all said and done and by throwing in the towel is writing his name in the, in the book. That's basically the same thing. Mm, no, I didn't read it. Don't say shit. I was going to do a reaction. I keep forgetting to do it. I'll probably do it tomorrow. I was going to read it and record myself reading it. My life has been so crazy that I, I, I was trying to prioritize that and look at where we are now. That shit came out the end of January. It's about to be April and I haven't fucking read that shit. Now, I will say this. The one thing about Death Note, as, as much as I loved it, there was one thing that I wish that they considered for the overall story. If I had a time machine, this is, and I, I hate talking about time, right? Like, as far as, like, like, if you ever could go back, what would you change, right? I hate talking about that shit. Because I feel like messing with time just fucks up everything, right? Anyway, if I hit, if I, there was a possibility to literally influence the story of Death Note, where I, like, if I would talk with the author, the writers, and be like, yo, this is one little bit of detail that you should fucking implement. And even if they didn't do anything with it for a long time, at least it was there. So that way, when they felt like coming back to it, they could easily transition into something else. So that way they don't necessarily have to just come up with anything. And I don't know how that one shot goes. So like, don't say nothing, please. please. But the one thing that I wish that they implemented in Death Note, I wish that a part of Light's plan, like this is on some saw shit. Like he thinks so ahead, worst case scenario type shit, right? He's no longer around he at least has a seed. I wish when he when he solidified his relationship with Misa, I wish he got her pregnant. Think about it. I wish he got her pregnant while she got the eyes. As soon as that deal was made, 
I wish this man busted. Do you understand the possibilities? Because think about it. What happens when someone with the eyes has a child? Imagine if the child gets the eyes at birth. The legacy of Kira. Thank you. Like that kid would grow up looking at everybody and it's like, what the hell are these numbers? I have no idea. And they don't even tell them. They don't even tell them. No one, because no one knows. And think about it. Even if the baby gets born, the baby's born, because Misa doesn't die at the end of fucking Death Note. And that was another thing. Dude, that was one of those things where I was like, when she got the eyes again, I was like, bruh, she's, she's dying. There's no way she's a fucking surviving this. But she lived until the very end and we, and it's only assumed like, oh, she just faded away and classified herself as obsolete. <laughs> but imagine if she had a child and that was Light's kid and that child was born, male or female, doesn't matter. And that fucking child had the Shinigami eyes. Let's just say, you know what? For the story's sake, let's say she had a son. Oh, really? Did she actually kill herself? Dude, even better. She dies and they leave this child on this in this world. Therefore, that makes this kid even way more confused. The only way this child would know of their powers is if another Shinigami, if he came into contact with another Shinigami or some shit like that. Imagine, because think about the possibility. Imagine the possibility. Just think about this. The possibility is simply this. If you're born with the Shinigami eyes, what if you just have the ability to see all the Shinigami? What if you don't have to touch a death note to see that shit? That's what I'm trying to say. This kid would literally be like a true Kira, minus the de actual death note to fucking kill anybody. Hold on, let me get the manga. Go right to the fucking end. They never showed this in the fucking anime. What? Dude, why did they never show this shit in the fucking anime? Nope, she don't die. The one thing that does stay, they say right here, once dead, they can never come back to life. Now check this out. Do you guys want me to show you the last page? I won't do it if you don't want to see the spoiler. If you guys don't want to see it, I won't say I won't show it. Crimson said he's fine. Riddle box, what's up? You say you're fine too. I at least need one more person to say okay. They have a fucking cult following for Kira. And look who it is at the forefront. That's Misa, bro. She ain't dead. Fuck. Man, that's crazy. I'm telling you guys. They should have they made that bitch pregnant, bro. If I ever had the opportunity to reboot Death Note, that would literally be one thing I would do. I would do that and the Death Eraser. Oh, yeah. They fucking... They, that's an actual item. If you look that shit up, it's a real thing. And the fact that they said once they die, they never come back. Dude, that's a... That's a tease, bro. That's just something to to believe. That's a false hope belief. Belief. See, the Death Eraser is a special artifact that can erase the names in the Death Note and revive the people that have been killed with the note. It's it's a real fucking thing. Literally, in the manga debut was in the pilot chapter. The existence of the Death Eraser is only true in the pilot manga. It does not exist in any other Death Note media in the main manga and in the anime. But it fucking exists you remember the one guy that light made his follower it was mikami or something he shouted delete yes sakujo 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 yes delete 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 my man mukami whatever the fuck his name was he was broken matt hardy before matt hardy was broken he was the fake kira exactly yep i remember that shit damn halo is taking a long time fellers let me see if I can actually play though.